Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is a viewer challenge involving the geometric mean in right triangles and Pythagorean theorem. We're looking for being able to find parts of a right triangle. Now viewer challenge means that we're extending a lesson of a previous video or maybe this is a question that's been sent in by a viewer. So here we go. We have three or four, uh, looks like four examples for you to try. And I want you to look at 9, 10, 11, and 12 and solve for x. Okay. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So pause the video, give it a try. All right, here are the answers, and let me just go over these quickly one by one, and hopefully you've tried them and got the answer. These uh, uh, numbers 9 and 10 are rounded to the nearest tenth. Notice that x here is a leg, and 9 is the hypotenuse, and 5 is the other leg. So using Pythagorean theorem, this is what we get. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply out the numbers that we know, which would be 5 squared is 25, and 9 squared is 81. So we subtract 25 from each side, and now we have x squared equals 56 take the square root now of each side and because we're working with distances and measurements we're gonna take just the positive square root and round it to the nearest tenth at 7.5 alright number 10 you see the way the triangle is marked that these legs are congruent to each other now one is marked 2 so of course this one also has to be 2 and it's a simple matter of using the Pythagorean theorem this way. 2 squared plus the other leg, 2 squared, equals x squared. x is going to be the hypotenuse. So we've got 4 plus 4 is 8 equals x squared. We're going to take the square root of each side. And x is going to be the square root of 8, which is about 2.8. On number 11, I hope that you tried it, we have 30 as a leg and 16 as a leg. So we've got 30 squared plus 16 squared equals the hypotenuse, which is x and squared. Let's multiply those out, which is 900 and 256. We add those together to get 1156 equals x squared. Now we take the square root of each side, and the answer is exactly 34. The square root of 1156 is 34. And finally, number 12, x is a leg, 65 is a hypotenuse, and 60 is the other leg. We substitute these into the Pythagorean theorem and get x squared plus 60 squared equals 65 squared. So x squared plus 3600 equals 4225. Of course, we need to subtract 3600 from each side. That'll give us 625. Take the square root of each side. And now, of course, our answer would be 25. So knowing how to use the Pythagorean theorem, very important. Make sure it's a right triangle and you have legs and a hypotenuse. And that's what the Pythagorean theorem is all about. Hope this extra practice has helped and thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.